Okay, today I have this Samsung S24 A350 24-inch Full HD LED monitor and it has a problem. <clears throat> I'm going to power it on. You see it powers on. But there's no video. It's plugged into a working source. And now I'm going to scan to the analog. And in some cases, uh, it's just do a HDMI and it switches off. And you've got a red light, it's still on, but turn the back light off. Um, it's not able to pick up any sources. But I've plugged it in to this computer here. And as we can see, this computer does detect the monitor. And it continues to detect it. So we know that the EDID on the main board, the information that stores, stores the information about the monitor is working but for some reason the monitor is unable to pick up the signal. In some cases, uh, if you unplug the HDMI, I notice the computer has now said there's no monitor attached. I'll try this again, we'll turn it on. By the way, on these monitors, a, a lit up LED means on, where it's, that's typically, that's different to uh, some other uh, TVs and monitors where a lit up LED means standby. So we'll do it this time. There you go. So it's a check signal cable. And that message will persist. Let's just uh, plug in the HDMI, but the computer's picked it up. But uh, as we can see, just check signal cable bouncing around. So what we're going to do is we're going to update the firmware on this monitor. Because it's a very common problem with these monitors and it's caused by corrupted firmware. What can happen is either people install the Samsung drivers for these and they update the firmware badly or people decide to update the firmware and they like pull the cable out of their monitor or in some cases it can happen due to a software bug in the firmware which corrupts the existing firmware uh, so we're just going to go to the Samsung website, download the program I believe it was Windows only so you have to have a Windows computer to do it um, I'm borrowing a friend's here and you can plug it into either HDMI or VGA but I'll, I'll check it might be VGA only uh, and it just updates the firmware over that cable uh, there's no USB ports on these or anything, so you can't do it with a USB memory stick. We'll just go and try that now. Okay, you just want to Google Samsung S24 A350 firmware. Then you want to download under the category of firmware. Under the category of downloads firmware, you want to download the firmware file version 1.17 here. It might have been changed by now. It's an EXE, blah de blah de blah. Just go and download it. We'll see what that does. appears to be a setup file which is interesting so I think it installs like a uh, program on this computer which keeps the monitor updated perhaps that's what happens um, perhaps it updates the uh, firmware while the computer is running and maybe power gets interrupted while it's doing that update uh, which is a dodgy design in my opinion it should ask the user ok we'll just restart the computer in case you know, it's usually not necessary but we'll do it anyway You see the uh, monitor is, update is now running. I just booted the computer and it ran immediately. It's interesting. Let's see what that does. The monitor isn't doing anything immediately. Oh yeah, it's updating the monitor firmware. And I see the image on the monitor stopped moving. Do not turn and in flashing red. There you go. Do not turn off monitor power or unplug the power cable. Monitor power might turn off automatically after monitor upgrade is completed. I'd be pretty chuffed if this works because I bought this monitor for just thirty pounds off a, uh, a PC supply store. They were about to throw it out because it's faulty. Monitor is still on, thirty-nine percent. 
I suspect it's upgrading the monitor firmware via the I squared C uh, SM bus, which is quite a slow interface. Uh, you've got these I squared C clock and data, which is used um, for the EDID identifying the monitor, um, and that's a, probably around 25 kilobytes a second transfer rate, and so that's a reasonably slow update. Uh, this monitor firmware, I mean there's not much you need in the monitor firmware, you need some icons for the images on the OSD and that's it really. Maybe the odd uh, odd little um, bit of software but I mean the only features these monitors have is like magic angle which is some silly thing which corrects the colour when you're off axis. It's, pretty, it's basically just different colour and brightness. Okay, monitor power just turned off. Firm update completed successfully. Okay, I don't know if it's going to power cycle. Let's just turn the monitor back on. Oh, look at that! Well, would you believe it? We now have a working monitor. And all we had to do is download the firmware update from Samsung. That's amazing. Some people can't even bother to Google things, eh? All I did is I typed the model number in, and it says that this uh, particular monitor suffers from some black screen issues due to um, corrupted firmware. And there we go, we have a working 24-inch Full HD LED monitor. This thing is ridiculously thin. And I opened it up out of interest, there's a single board in it. It's got an external power brick. Uh, it would be quite interesting to run this off uh, a battery because of my model aircraft. Uh, this is a decent sized monitor, it's really lightweight so I could carry it with me when I go out to a field or something. And it can run off 12 or 14 volt DC. The only problem is VGA input isn't natively com compatible with the type of uh, transmitters I use but I do have a VGA converter box which can take the yellow, white, red in and give you VGA out. So I'll try that and we'll see how it goes. Um, that would be interesting to power this off a battery. You know, I have 12.6 volt batteries, although they do drop down to about 11.1 .1 when they're fully discharged. Lithium polymer types. But yeah, it could definitely work. Awesome. I have to enjoy this.